In this tutorial, we will learn how to apply a grunge effect in Photoshop. First of all, type in your text and align it at the center of the document. Over here, we have used Impact for the font. Now rasterize the text layer and pick up the polygonal lasso tool to create a simple torn effect. To do so, make a quick selection on the text, press Ctrl T and move the selection away. Now that you're done with the basic text, it's time to bring in the texture layers to the document. Over here, we will be working with three different grunge paper textures. Bring the first one in your Photoshop document and change the size of the layer according to the text. Now load the selection of the text layer and copy and paste the selection from the texture layer onto a new layer. Bring the newly created layer right at the top and over here you'd notice that we got a bit of the white background section in the selection that we had created. To remove this, go to the select menu and choose the color range option. Select the white color from the color picker and reduce the fuzziness according to the image. Once the selection is created, hit the delete button. Now duplicate the layer and change its blend mode to multiply. With that done, duplicate the layer once more. Now load the selection of the newly created layer. Go to the select menu, move over to modify and select the contract option. Contract the selection by five pixels. With that done, simply hit the delete button and we will have an outline of the text. Duplicate the outline layer once more, just to darken the outline a bit. Now we move on to the second texture. Let's call it vintage paper texture. Bring it onto the document, move it right at the bottom, and reduce its size according to your text. With that done, load the selection of the text, click on the vintage paper texture, and copy and paste the selection onto a new layer. Bring the layer right at the top, hide the rest of the layers, and remove the white background that we got in the selection. With that done, change the blend mode of the layer to difference. Now bring in the third texture onto the canvas. We have already removed the white background from this image. Position it on the canvas. Load the selection of the text layer and copy and paste the selection onto a new layer. With that done, change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Now duplicate this layer and change its blend mode to luminosity. Now what we've done is use the same texture layer, moved it a bit on the canvas, only to copy and paste a different selection onto a new layer. With that done, we change the blend mode of the layer to overlay. With that done, move over to the filter gallery. Select the rough pastels option and set the stroke length to 7, stroke detail to 15, scaling to 151% and relief to 18. With that done, open up the hue saturation option. Desaturate the layer and reduce the lightness to negative 70. Now go to the base layer of your text effect. Open up the layer style options and click on the drop shadow tab. Over here, set the opacity to 50%, angle to 120 degrees, distance to 10 pixels, spread to 50% and size to 20 pixels. And that's it for your grunge text effect.